That boy E man on the camera. Montgomery March for the voting rights ended in three weeks and three events that represented the political and emotional peak of the modern civil rights movement. On March 7, 1965, some 600 civil rights marchers headed east out of Selma on U.S. Road 80. They got only as far as Edmund Petrus Bridge, six blocks away, where the states and local lawmen attacked them with billy clubs and tear gas and drove them back into Selma. This has since become known as Bloody Sunday. Bloody Sunday was a major turning point in effects to gain public support for the civil rights movement and the clearest, and, and the clearest demonstration up to the point of the dramatic potential of King's non violent tragedy. King, however, was not present. After meeting with President Lyndon B. Johnson, he decided not to endorse the march, but it, but, it was, but it was carried out against his wishes and without his presence on March 7th by local civil rights leaders. Footage of police brutality against the protesters was broadcast, was broadcast extensively and arose um, national public outrage. Two days later on March 9th, Martin Luther King Jr. led a symbolic march to the bridge where he then led a short prayer, short prayer session before turning the marches around and asking them to disperse so as not to violate the court order that was issued against the march. On Sunday, March 21st, about 3,200 marchers set out for Montgomery, walking 12 miles a day and sleeping in the fields. By the time they reached the capital on Thursday, March 25th, they were 25,000 strong. At the conclusion of the march on the steps of the state capitol, King delivered a speech that has become known as How Long Not Long. Less than five months after, less than five months after the last of three marches, President Lyndon Johnson signed the Voting Rights Act of 1965. So I leave you guys one of the most prolific phrases of Dr. King. We march for the 2005 strong who demanded equal rights for all. Thank you.